A rhinoceros going full tilt on the opposite pavement. Oh, it's a rhinoceros. Oh, a rhinoceros. Oh, a rhinoceros. There's no reason to break the glass. It's rushing through the head, rushing up against the shop windows. Oh, a rhinoceros. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Well, of all things, you'll be charged for those. Well, oh, of all things. things. Well, of all oh, things. things. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it ran over my cat. It ran over my cat. It ran over my cat. What oh, a tragedy. Poor little thing. thing. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. thing. Don't just stand there and clean up the mess. Oh, yeah. Poor little thing. Oh, the cat died. Over oh. there, over there. Well, what do you think of that? <laughs> you mustn't cry. You mustn't cry like that. It's too heartbreaking. <laughs> Were you there, Mr. Manager? Did you see it? You again? Oh, you're gone. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Daisy. You must excuse me, I haven't had a chance to shave. Poor little thing. Poor little thing! <laughs> That's going too far. That's going too far. My poor little pussy, my poor little cat! <laughs> what can you do, dearly? Cats are only mortal. What do you expect, madame? All cats are mortal. One must accept that. My little cat! My poor little cat! Throw that in the dustbin. You owe me a thousand francs. All of you are all you think of is money! <laughs> Don't upset yourself. Don't upset yourself, dear lady. It's very upsetting, a thing like that. My little cat! My little cat! Yes, it's very upsetting, a thing like that. <laughs> Sit down here, dear lady. Well, what do you think of that? Well, what do you think of that? Well, what do you think of that? A glass of water for the lady. Sit down, dear lady. Poor woman. <coughs> Poor cat. Better give her a brandy. A oh, brandy! This gentleman is paying. <laughs> what brandy? Right away! I don't want any! I don't want any! It went past my shop a little while ago. <laughs> it wasn't the same one. But I could have. Yes, it was. It was the same one. Did it go past twice then? I think it was the same one. No, it was not the same rhinoceros. The one that went by first had two horns on its nose. It was an Asi Asiatic rhinoceros. This only had one. It was an African rhinoceros. Duh. Here's a drop of brandy. Pull you together. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're talking nonsense. How could you possibly tell about the horns? The animal flash passed at such speed we hardly ever saw it. Go on, you'll do you good! Very true. It did go fast. Just as of a taste. It's good! You had no you had no time to count its horns. <laughs> Make her drink it. What's more, it was traveling in a cloud of dust. Daisy. Drink it up <laughs> Just a sip dear lady. Be brave. There you see There you see I don't have to grope my way through a fog. I can calculate quickly. My mind is clear. Fair enough. But it had its head thrust down. Now wasn't that good? Precisely. One could see all the better. My little cat. Utter nonsense. I've got another cat. Cat into now. <laughs> what, me? You dare to accuse me of talking nonsense? I'll never have another. <laughs> Yes, absolute blithering nonsense. You have to accept these things. I've never talked nonsense in my life. Try and be philosophic about it. You're just a pretentious show-off, a pendant. Now, gentlemen, 
And what's more, a pendant who's not certain of his facts because in the first place, it's an Asiatic rhinoceros, rhinoceros with only one horn on its nose, and it's the African with two. You're wrong. It's the other way about. He was so sweet. Do you want a bet? Then why make a bet? Don't excite yourself, Mr. Banger. <laughs> I'm not betting with you. If anybody's got two horns, it's you. You is yet a mondo. Oh. <gasps> You're going to have a fight. Nonsense. It's just a bet. <laughs> we don't want any scenes here. <laughs> Now look, what kind of rhinoceros has one horn on its nose? You're a tradesman, you should know. Yes, you should know. I've got no horns, I never and I never have. Tradesmen can't be expected to know everything. Oh yes, you have. I'm not Asiatic either. In any case, Asiatics are people in the same are the same as everyone else. Yes! Asiatics are people the same as we are! That's true. Nobody's asking for your opinion. She's right. They're people the same as we are. He was so gentle. Just like one of us. They're yellow. Oh. Goodbye, gentlemen. Oh. You I will not deign to include. He was devoted to us. Now, listen a moment. Mr. Berger and you too, Mr. Jean. I once had some friends who were Asiatics, but perhaps they weren't real ones. I've known some real ones. I had an Asiatic friend once. If I had him when he was all young, then I'm kidding. They're yellow, I tell you. Bright wow. yellow. Whatever they are, whatever they are, you're bright red. <laughs> oh! This is getting serious. He was so clean. He always used his tree. If that's how you feel, it's the last time you'll see me. I'm not wasting my time with a fool like you. He always made himself understood. There are white Asiatics, as well as black and blue, even some like us. You drunkard! I'm not going to stand for that. Oh! oh. He could almost talk. In fact, he did. You shouldn't have made him angry. It wasn't my fault. Oh, it wasn't my fault. Go and get a little coffin for the poor thing. I think you're right. It's the Asi Asiatic rhinos with two horns and the African with one. What? He was saying the opposite. You were both wrong! Even so, you were right. Come with me! We're going to put him in a little box! <laughs> no, never! If you don't mind my saying so, I think Mr. Jean was right. Now, you must be reasonable. Would you like me to come with you? Brusher. Oh, sorry. The Asiatic rhinoceros has one horn, and the African rhinoceros has two, and vice versa. <laughs> now, don't you bother. Oh, you always have to be different from everybody else. Daisy was right. I should have never. I should have never have. <coughs> should never have contradicted him. Your husband's right. The Asiatic rhino, sir, rhinoceros, has two horns, and the African one must have two, and vice versa. He can't stand being contradicted. The slightest disagreement makes him fume. You're mistaken, my friend. I'm very sorry. I'm sure. His temper is his own only fault. Maybe they're both the same. Deep down, he's got a heart of gold. He's done me many a turn. If one has two horns, then the other one must have one. Perhaps it's the other with two and the one with one. I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't more accommodating. Why is he being so obstinate? I didn't want to exasperate him. He's always making fantastic statements, always trying to dazzle people with his knowledge. He will never admit he's wrong. Have you any proof? Proof of what? Of the statement you just made now, which start with the unfortunate row with your friend. Yes. Have you any proof? How do you know that one of the two rhinoceroses 
heads one horn and the other two. And which is which? He doesn't know any more than we do. In the first place, we don't know that there were two. I myself believe there was only one. Well, let's say there were two. Does the single horned one come from Asia? No, it's the one from Africa with two, I think. Which is two? Oh. Which is two horned. It's not the one from Africa. It's not easy to agree on this. But the problem must be cleared up. 